Here's how to mod a Pokemon uh, Japanese game cart to be reflushable. You want to use gold or silver, not crystal or any of the uh, other versions. They use a different flash chip and it's a bit trickier to work with. So I'll start by removing the battery. It'll likely be flat anyway, so we'll throw that out. Now we need to remove this chip. There are a few ways to do it. You could just cut all the pins off and then de uh, desolder the what's left over. Or easier is with a hot air gun. This will take a few minutes, so I'll just pause you. It's been about 90 seconds, so it should be just about ready to come off. Now we'll add a bit of flux. And add some fresh solder to make all the pads level. And we'll do the same with this adapter card. I'm going to place this adapter on here, line it up the best we can. And then apply the hot air again. This will take about 90 seconds. That looks pretty good. Now we'll add more flux. And we'll tin the top. and position on our flash chip. It's a bit tricky with a camera in your face. That looks good. So we'll get the hot air out again. And about 90 seconds. Okay, we'll just go over the top with an iron now to ensure there are no dry joints. Any bridges can be removed with a bit of wick.
Okay. Now we need to add two wires. One to the mapper chip. And that'll go onto the panel in the very, very corner. And we'll just tidy that up. That should be fine. And the second wire. And we'll tuck that away as well. And we'll add our new battery. And we'll give the pins a bit of a clean with a pencil eraser. That should be it.